All right, so welcome to the Van Karman Institute and welcome to the Smart Answer Demonstrator. So this demonstrator here is the final outcome of a Marie Skodowska Curie project that ran uh, under the coordination of ETI and gathering a number of uh, partners that are represented on this, on this poster here from the uh, 2016 till uh, 2020. So Smart Answer is a research project that is aimed at reducing noise in our daily environment, uh, addressing in particular a number of applications. So one application is wind turbine noise, another application is related to air taps, so we are talking about IO engine noise. We are also talking about uh, mufflers, silencers in the automotive industry, or uh, air conditioning systems. And the thing that those systems have in common is that uh, noise results from the interaction of flow and turbulence in particular with uh, solid surfaces. And the project in here tries to reduce the noise by working simultaneously on three uh, topics. First one is the noise reduction at the source. So the idea is really to reduce the noise that is emitted uh, by the blade of the wind turbine or by the blade of the uh, air engine. It addresses also the reduction of the noise that is uh, propagating, for example, in a duct system that you would have in an air conditioning system. And finally, we try to reduce the noise that is transmitted through uh, solid panels, for example, uh, in the case of the uh, cabin of an aircraft or the cabin of a car, where you hear the wind noise due to the transmission through the uh, flexible panel. So this project is about aerodynamic noise and the final outcome, as I said, of the project is this demonstrator, which is therefore a small wind tunnel. So this is a result of a collaborative effort of the 17 uh, young researchers who have been participating to the project. And it integrates all the technologies that have been uh, researched and developed by those young researchers. So we have developed a small wind tunnel, so we, where we have the flow supply that is provided in here. So we have a fan in this housing. Then the flow is circulating through a series of channels that are silent. Then we have flow conditioners, and eventually we arrive at the test section where we have a series of air points that will be uh, that, that will be explained right after. Uh, those air points figure a wind turbine blade, an aircraft uh, uh, engine. Uh, fan blade or uh, the cooling fan of, an, uh, of a car, for example. So this is the first aspect, so that's the noise reduction at the source. The second aspect is the noise reduction through transmission, so the noise is propagating then through the duct system in here, and there we have some liners that will be explained later. And then finally we have a last test section with some uh, uh, transmission panels, where the idea is to reduce the noise that is transmitted by the means of the design metamaterials. So, uh, just for you to have an idea of the kind of mechanism we are talking about, so when turbulence is interacting with the solid surface, you have this kind of noise. This is noise of turbulence. This is the noise that is emitted by turbulence interacting with the surface. So, if you want to reduce this noise, we, work, we have to work on the surface, on the geometry, and on the uh, kind of a, uh, technological devices that we can have in different terms. So uh, I will then invite my colleague to go into more details and to explain you a little bit more in the let's say the, the features of the of the demonstrator. Hi, uh, I'm Simone Tamaro and I'm one of the researchers that have been uh, recruited for this uh, project. And now I will give you an overview of the different uh, airports that we have uh, in the demonstrator. So, um, first of all, we have a, a baseline airfoil that, uh, of course, produces noise when uh, uh, it is uh, uh, interacting with a turbulent flow. And uh, then we have other airfoils that are there to uh, reduce uh, this noise. An example is the, uh, the serrated model that uh, features these uh, serrations at the leading edge and uh, at the trailing edge. And it's actually very commonly used in, um, in wind turbines. You can often see them at the training edge of uh, wind turbine blades. Then there is uh, some porosity here. We have a, a porous airfoil with a permeable uh, uh, insert at the leading edge and at the trailing edge. Uh, this insert is uh, filled with uh, steel wool and it's actually quite promising in terms of uh, reduction. 
Another uh, thing, uh, another interesting aspect uh, here is uh, there is air fuel that is equipped with uh, water generators. It's, a, it's also quite common to see these devices uh, on wind turbine blades and uh, they are there to delay separations, but they may introduce some effect in terms of acoustics. And finally, we have uh, uh, an example that is a, a typical of the boom machinery, where we have a, a, a shorter like, a span of this effort compared to the others. So we have a gap that is typically the one that can be observed when uh, there is a turbo machinery and the blade is, uh, is turning. And it's, this is actually a source of noise. And uh, in, in the demonstrator, we have the possibility of uh, uh, flashing a, a liner to reduce this noise. So let's now take them, uh, put them inside the, the demonstrator and uh, see how they um, interact with the flow. Now we have placed uh, our uh, reference uh, air in and I will uh, switch on the tongue so we can see how it uh, sounds. One thing that uh, we can uh, test uh, with the demonstrator uh, immediately uh, is to see what is the effect of changing the angle of attack, which uh, would uh, uh, mimic what happens when uh, a wind turbine blade is exposed to uh, atmospheric uh, turbulence. So you can hear that I mean, there is quite a big increase uh, of noise. And uh, I suggest you stay tuned for uh, future uh, videos where we will focus also on the other uh, uh, noise mitigation technologies that we source. Um, and also not only at the sort, but only also for my propagation. In fact, we have some uh, passive liners over there that are uh, made of a perforated uh, plate, very common in uh, combustion uh, chambers uh, and uh, uh, automotive mufflers. And we have also an active liner that, differently from the passive one, requires some energy to reduce actually the noise propagation. And finally, we also have a, a noise uh, transmission uh, technology, uh, which is uh, basically smart uh, metamaterial, uh, met metamaterials that uh, are very efficient and light uh, in reducing uh, the noise. So that's it for today, but I suggest you stay tuned for uh, future videos. All right, thank you very much, Simone, for uh, this uh, teaser for the future movie that will focus more on the technology. Uh, for noise reduction. So I would like also to take this opportunity to thank all the ESR, so that the PhDs of uh, Smart Sensor who did a wonderful job to uh, develop those uh, smart techniques. Uh, and I would like to thank of course all the hosting beneficiaries of the project, so uh, of course the teams of the Van Kerman Institute, Siemens CLM in uh, Leuven, National Technical University of Athens, and Vitam in uh, Poland, uh, Ecole Central de Lyon in France, et Pierre in France, Ecole Polytechnique Fédérale de Lausanne in Switzerland, KTA in Sweden, uh, Siemens Gamesa, Denmark, Southampton, University of Southampton in uh, UK, the Laboratoire d'Acoustique de, de l'Université du Mans in France, K11 in Belgium, and finally, see you there. Thank you very much, guys. It's been a pleasure working with you, and hope to see you in the future project. And of course, many thanks to the European Commission for financing the Smart Transport Technology.